one of the natural responses to what you said would be, okay, well, the the priorities are, it's a rigged game because only women are the ones who are able to procreate. So what do we answer to that? Of course it's a rigged game. <laughs> Obviously it's a rigged game. Women have complicated lives and the pill has made them more complicated. Well, that's not, I wouldn't say that exactly because, you know, a hundred years, in 1895, the average person in the Western world lived on one dollar a day in today's money. Okay, so those people worked so hard and slaved away to such a degree that you can't even imagine it and all their kids died, right? So. They, the, the death rate among kids below five was beyond comprehension. And so, like, women had a terrible time of it. And, well, so did men. They got to be coal miners and soldiers. So now that wasn't exactly entertaining, you know. So life was very, 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 very hard before we got rich. And we're rich. Even those of you who are in this class who think you're poor, it's like, oh, no, you're not. You're in the top one-tenth of one percent by historical standards and probably there by current world standards as well. Of course, you can just compare yourself to the few people who are richer than you and feel sorry for yourself, but that's pretty pathetic in my estimation. So, it's, and it's certainly historically uninformed. So, yeah, women have it rough, obviously. Now, there's, there's other things to consider. You do live eight years longer. So that's not trivial. Testosterone kills men. That's basically why men die earlier. You know, and men are much more likely to be killed in dangerous jobs. They do almost all the dangerous jobs. They do almost all the outside work. And there's lots of reasons that men get paid more than women that have nothing to do with prejudice. It's because they take awful, horrible jobs, like working in the oil rigs in northern Alberta when it's bloody 40 below, and come out at, you know, at that after five years with two or three fingers missing and, and all warped up because you really want to wrestle pipe when it's 40 below and it's filthy with a bunch of ordinary men who are hung over beyond belief, it's like, that's not very entertaining. So yeah, I mean, each gender, each sex has its own unfairness to deal with, but to think of that as a consequence of the social structure, it's like, come on, really? What about nature itself? And this is something, this is something that seems to be completely invisible on the left side of the political spectrum. It's like, of course you're bloody oppressed and your life is full of suffering, obviously. But to think about that as a direct consequence of unjust social structures is just moronic. It's like, that's part of the reason, a small part, but look where you're sitting, people. It's pretty warm in here. And you're so privileged, you could come here on Saturday morning and listen to an intellectual lecture. It's like, you should be happy about that, because by historical standards, you should be out lifting rocks in your skeletal form, about five foot three with no teeth. <laughs> so... Well, I have yeah. cougars. Yeah. Cougars and lions, yeah, exactly. So, you know, there's no gratitude, that's the thing. There's no gratitude for what our society is capable of doing.